Hey, welcome back inside of the kitchen. My name is Kent Altona, and this week's recipe is going to be a rather simple one, but it's also very good. Sometimes it's not so much as in emulating your old um, favorite foods, but necessarily replicating the flavors of them. So we're going to be making pizza burgers today in the kitchen. So I already have one pound of ground beef in the um, bowl here, and to this I'm going to add one pound of Italian sausage. I have really good Italian sausage in the Des Moines area uh, because uh, Des Moines was uh, founded by a, a number of Italian immigrants. So this Italian sausage is, well it has three carbs, they all come from spices. So read your ingredients now. So we're going to mix this together by hand. Now this Italian sausage is pretty sticky. In case it wasn't, you could additionally add some binders to it, like uh, Parmesan cheese or egg to make, hold the pizza burgers together. But I'm not going to need to due to the stickiness of the Italian sausage. Like the stuffed hamburger recipe, you don't necessarily want to overwork the meat. Alright, so now we can patty up the pizza burgers into about four ounce package, four ounce patties, and I can measure them on my kitchen scale. Alright, that's four and a half ounces. Basically put them into patty form, and I'm going to put them immediately into the frying pan. Alright, so here's another one. Let me check the weight. Right at four ounces. And I'll patty up the rest of these uh, behind the scenes and we'll catch back up at that point. See you then. Alright, welcome back. So I have four of the patties in the, in the frying pan at this point. They've been cooking for about, oh, say two to three minutes on this side. So we're going to flip them over. And of course they want to be pizza burgers without some pizza sauce. Well you can either use this, this is the home style uh, ragu pizza sauce, which is a, one of the two recipes. Ragu has actually two pizza sauces. One's called traditional and one's called home style. The home style one doesn't have sugar um, in it. Or you can use the ragu, no sugar added um, uh, marinara sauce. I'm going to be using the pizza sauce. And at this point, you want to put a tablespoon or less of pizza sauce on top of each one. Alright. And then you want to add one ounce of mozzarella cheese to the top of each one as well. Alright, we're going to cover the pizza burgers, we're going to cook them up for another two minutes on this side, and they'll be ready to go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll include some of my um, videos from my race, at the Green Bay Marathon that I ran last weekend. I hope everyone is having a great week, and thank you guys for watching, and all the well wishes on the videos, on my marathon videos. It really, really, really was appreciated, and it made it the, all the difference in the world in me reaching an 11-minute marathon personal record. Thanks, bye. Mr. Green Bay, uh, you put this thing all together. Front of the city, it's a great friend of mine, Mr. Sean Ryan. All right, thank you, Jim. You last reminders, runners. You're about four minutes from start. You
reminders, there will be Gatorated water every 1.5 miles and porta potties at every water station location. Blue energy gel stations will appear at miles 7, 13.2, and 20. There will be nine medical stations on the course and a medical tent at the finish line. There will be entertainment stations with music on the marathon course today. The finish line will offer water, beer, and bagels, festival foods, Oktoberfest brats, and your favorite and mine, locally brewed, Title Town 26.